I'm Anthony Aletto from Sunny's The Car Wash Factory. Welcome to Georgia. Well, what's old is new again, and here at Aqua Blue Car Wash, believe it or not, this building behind me used to house two in-bay automatics and five self-serve bays. Today, it's home to a cutting-edge 110-foot car wash tunnel with 14 free vacuum spots and two of Sunny's new pay stations. They've also fully implemented the Sunny's Fusion Guard online detailing process, complete with signage and lighting. It's an incredible customer experience, and we've caught up with Scott Oster to talk about this impressive conversion. Scott, how's it going? Going well, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for having us up here to your new site. Absolutely. Looks, looks really nice. I'm really uh, happy you finally got an express wash going. Thank you. Uh, how's everything? Everything good? Everything's good. Been open about three and a half months now. Tell uh, the people that are going to be watching the video a little bit about your experience, uh, mm -hmm. what you've done in the past in the car wash business. Been in the car wash business basically my whole working life. Got into it back in the early 90s. I've sold chemicals, I've sold equipment, I've been my own distributor, I've built express washes, I've owned self-serves and in-bay automatics. I've kind of done everything there is to do in the car wash business. So. So I, I know you were, you were trying to get rid of some of the sites a while ago, the old sites that you had. Uh-huh. This used to be an existing self-serve and in-bay automatic site, okay. a five and two. Okay. It's now a 110-foot Sunny's conveyor ice tunnel, express okay. wash. And how much of the building did we keep? We kept basically the in-bay automatic side with the equipment room, three of the self-serve bays, knocked down two of the self-serve bays, and expanded it from there. Tell me about the process. How do you start with uh, architect and engineer when you talk about trying to save part of a building and reuse mm -hmm. it, uh, city planning? So we hired a, uh, a local design build firm. He came in, he basically helped us decide, okay, this is what we think we can keep, what we need to add on based on you know the dimensions of the property. One of the reasons why we actually kept the building existing is because had we torn it down and started all over, we would have basically laid it out in the same place anyway. So we figured why not keep the shell that already exists and just add on to it from there. So we hired the design build guy, he came in, he helped us. We went to the county. It was much easier keeping all the curb cuts. All the curb cuts on the property are the same as what they were when we had the self-serve. Right. So that enabled us to get through permitting a little bit easier than normal. Yeah. Um, and then we kind of just built it from there and, and here we have what we have. So with, the, with this express wash here, tell me about the equipment package. What did you decide to do inside and what did so you So we offer? ended up putting in a 110 foot conveyor um, basically, you know, that be became developed based on the length that we had with what we were working with with the existing shell. Yeah. Um, from that, we basically got with the uh, local guys here, Car Wash Services, got in touch with the Sunnies representatives down there. They helped us do the official layout and everything else. And, and so, again, we ended up 110 feet, yeah. tried to incorporate all the things that we would from my previous experience, um, you know, and, and came up with the packages that we were able to come up with based on that. And pay stations and controllers? It was all we used Sunny's all controllers? Sunny's pay stations and controllers. We've had nothing but good luck and great, you know, feedback from customers as far as the, the use of it and, yeah. and the ease of the okay. equipment and everything else. Yeah. So it's worked out well. Tell me a little bit about your wash packages. How'd you start and, uh, and how did we get to where we are now? So we started off with wanting to brand our location where we could sell our AquaShield process, as we call it, yeah. initially. So that was basically our process, AquaShield, um, ultimate AquaShield, actually. Yeah. And then we got introduced, actually, a couple months ago to the Diamond, Diamond Shine Fusion process. And it just seemed like it was you know, something catching as far as the logos and everything, as well as it's a bigger process. Yeah. So it offers more things for us to offer our customers. Again, we have a lot of competition around here. So anything we can do to put ourselves a step above our competition, we're going to do it. So we introduced the fusion process a couple months back, changed some of our marketing, and it's been going great ever since. That's fantastic. And then I see you doing club plans. I see them advertised on the reader board out front. We had in mind from the very beginning, the club plan monthly unlimiteds for us was going to be a big part of what we try to accomplish here. Yeah. We, we, we brand it from the moment you get on the property. We want people to know, join our monthly unlimiteds. So we've been pushing hard at that. We're up to almost 800 members in less than three and a half months, so we're on our way to achieving our goals as far as that goes. And again, we've had nothing but positive things said about that. All right, hey, Scott, here. we're up here at the front of the wash where the cars come in. Take us a walk through the transition between the old kind of logo, menu, board, uh -huh. new kind of graphics with the Fusion. Sure. And, and what, what it's kind of done and what the experience So again, like we talked about before, we, we focus a lot on the monthly unlimited plans. Yep. These are the original boards that we had when we first started. Yep. Uh, we kept all the packaging the same, even though we added the fusion process 
to our menus. So it, we didn't need to change this, yeah. but as you'll see from the menus when we get close, there's a lot more graphics and things of that nature that allow us to upsell the customers to that fusion yeah. process on the graphics over there. Much more professional looking image between the yes. logos and the icons. You know, gives a kind of a, a national brand type of look. Absolutely. Right? And kind of helps the sales. Yes. Let's take a walk up and look at the, sure. the, the big screen. So when we opened, we, we had the, uh, the introduction to us on the digital menus, which yep. we really liked. It's proven to work out really well. We get a lot of compliments on that. Mm -hmm. um, what we decided was put one in the middle with, uh, with the uh, menu, but we can also change it, use it more for marketing as well. So yep. we put other different um, you know, screens on there for the customers to be able to see. And then we went with our static die cut menu that's, that's just standard there where it's, you know, nothing right. changes. They can see that whenever they pull up yep. as well. So, and as you can see, again, we incorporated all of the fusion process into the menus. Much more cleaner look for us, allows us to upsell to that fusion process. That fusion process logo is even actually out on our digital reader board so that we try to instill in the customers this is what we do. Oh, and again, it's brand. unique for us and, and you know our competition and, and the area that we're in. Right. So. Talk about the pay stations. Okay, pay stations again, um, all Sunny's pay stations. We have the, uh, the ability to do the monthly unlimited is actually at the pay station. So you can see it's buy wash, buy unlimited wash plan or buy a gift card. So you can actually buy a gift card. It dispenses it here. You can buy the monthly unlimited here as well. Um, right now, the thing we have to do when they do purchase the monthly unlimited, they fill everything out here, they pay here. They just have to go inside of the office to get their RFID tag that we then have to put into their windshield to right. be able to utilize moving forward. When you buy a gift card, it comes out already charged? or that Already it charged, it's, it comes out, you're good to go. It's just going to charge your credit card as you, you know, buy whatever you'd like to purchase here at the pay station. Um, very user friendly. We get a lot of comments about, you know, how user friendly it is to the customer. Is there a value proposition on the gift card? You spend 50? Yes. Yeah, there is. We basically do it in increments of if you buy 20, if you buy $20 worth, we give you 25. If you buy 50, we give you 60. So okay. we, we've made an incentive-based program there to, to definitely get them more than what they're actually paying can for. Can they buy the card before they buy a wash and then go in and buy a wash with that card? They can. They can. Well, so they can get their savings right away. Yes. And take advantage of it. That's yes. fantastic. And uh, the other one is the, the this one comes with the, with the security door? Security the doors. Doubles, these doubles get, as a sign as well, right? We can put a, we put our own logos and signage up here every night. It's part of the routine, you know, daily maintenance. They come out, they close the pay stations, they lock them. We've never had any issues with, you know, any maintenance or anything like that. They also have uh, the ability to withstand really hot temperatures, yep. which we have around yep. here, yep. Um, and cold from what I understand, but we don't get that cold. So. Right. Yeah, they got a full uh, heating and air conditioning unit yes. there to keep them, keep them uh, happy and satisfied. Yep. Sure. Let's go on and take a look at the tunnel. Okay. Let's see what you got for signs in there. All right, Scott, we're in the back room, and apparently from what you said, this here, basically we were standing in the self-serve bay. Correct. And then uh, your inbound automatics were down there. Correct. And you kind of cut through there, but extended this, right? Exactly. So that end used to be the self-surveys. That's why there's the wing walls coming up, the automatic bays, yeah. excuse me. And then this was actually, if you look at the walls right here, this was basically a self-survey that existed. And it ended right here. And it ended right where that wall is. Yeah. And then this is now the new part of the equipment room to match the length of the in-bay automatics. Okay. Yeah. Very, very clean room. I love the floor treatment. Uh, love the, the everything painted white makes it look nice and bright. Yep. Um, ladder rack for the hosing and plumbing, and um, not a lot of drums and barrels. No. So one of the things we liked with the whole introduction of the diamond shine process with the fusion as well was they talked about the bullseye. Yep. So at that point we actually switched and went all bullseye products. So as you can see, like you said, there's no drums. Yep. My managers love me for that because they don't have to lug drums around. And, Say and body injuries too, and back injuries, and yes. eyes, and splash, and things. Yep. So we're doing uh, all the systems right now in a couple of uh, hydroflex units. Hydroflex the units, the, the direct inject systems, which and then, works out well. And a Absolutely. couple of dosatrons. A couple of dosatrons. We're doing some unique things even with our rinsing, where we're utilizing dosatrons yep. and some unique chemicals that uh, Diamond Shine has introduced us to to allow for better rinsing as well yep. and getting cars drier. So it's kind of cool that you got a concentrated product in a bin to be drawn up. Where's the inventory? The inventory is right back here. So there's a clip. That is our inventory, basically. That's what we use over there. The guys just come and they'll grab one of these, walk down there, and dump it into the container. And that's the extent of it. Pretty cool, nice and clean. Alright, 
we got over here in the vacuum area, we got the new double drop vacuum booms with the cyclone separators. You're utilizing both a crevice tool and a claw. Correct. And then you've got a lot of the features here for the customers to use. Yes. Tell me what you did. So you mentioned crevice and claw, gives them the option, either one. Yep. We actually started off originally with all claws, had a couple people make comments that we didn't have the crevice. Yep. We came back and added immediately for that. Um, we offer towels. We have a bin, our guys come out regularly, check the towels. You know, then they have basically three different things. Interior cleaner, window cleaner, and we offer an air freshener. Okay. Again, these are all things that we're having to do because our competition is doing it, but we're creating loyal customers ourselves by having this here. Yep. We've got air manifolds, which is extremely, extremely um, professional in terms of how we do it with the OSHA compliance and all that. Yep. Customers use it all the time. Right. We get nothing but compliments on that. So they're, they're blowing out the inside of the car as well as the outside? Or? They are literally blowing out the inside and the outside both. Again, we don't have too many issues with foam coming out of the cracks and all that, so it's it's definitely used more on the interiors, yep. but they're utilizing it for both. Right. Um, cool. You know, in our vacuum areas, we, I mentioned before, we do a lot of our monthly unlimited plans. We try to get the message across as best we can, so we actually have it on all of our vacuums. We have the dirty towels yep. um, to be thrown away in there but that we're advertising as well. We even went as far as having it put on, the stickers put on our cars. That, yep. you know, any, anywhere we have the opportunity to get the point across, we have monthly sure. unlimited, we're trying to push that message. Yep. Hey Scott, I just want to thank you so much for letting us come down here and go through the site. I think when someone has as much experience as you do, growing up in the industry and working in all different aspects of it, and then building a site and communicating what you did to the consumers out there that are thinking about doing mm -hmm. this here, I think it leaves, gives them a lot of information. We enjoy doing it. Yeah. We have a lot of people come to the site, they're welcome. Yeah, yeah you're we in a good spot, you're right in Atlanta, so it's a good yeah. place to come in and visit. It's Absolutely. A quick flight, we got our biggest distributor here, so it all works out pretty good. Yes. Again, thanks so much for thank you. letting us come down and do this here, we really appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. And I'm sure our customers are gonna enjoy watching this one. I hope they do, thank thanks you. Thanks a lot. Hey, what we've shared with you today is a truly fusion-powered car wash. The key to retaining customers and maintaining a premium ticket average requires a notable difference in the quality of the vehicle. The fusion process is the industry's first integrated combination of chemistry and equipment designed to create a long-lasting shine that brings your customers back again and again. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, good luck and good washing.